This video is part of the series on the Control 101 MATLAB Toolbox. Here we're looking at how you run the files in the toolbox and the manuals. So some background and context. The community has agreed on an outline structure for a Control 101 course and some of the things we want to focus on is why is feedback important and how can I experience the efficacy of different design choices on multiple engineering systems. The MATLAB Control 101 Toolbox has been developed to support such a course and specifically these tools will enable visualization and support tedious number crunching requirements so students can focus on core concepts. This video is going to look at shortcuts to run the files in the toolbox, assuming the toolbox has already been downloaded, which was covered in the previous video. So, first, finding and running the toolbox apps. Once you've downloaded the toolbox, you will see here that all of the apps appear under the apps button and hopefully this screen you can see very clearly how you do that. Press the apps button and then go down to my apps and there you can see all of the toolbox apps have appeared. In order to run these files you simply click on them but do be aware that sometimes they take 10 to 20 seconds to open. There are alternatives. If you want to you can go to the command line and you can type this line here, doc control 101 space toolbox. Now, when you press that, what will happen is a new window will open. And that window has a number of soft links. So here's the new window that will open. And if I now scroll down in that window, okay, you'll see there are lots of soft links. So where this writing is in blue, it basically means it's a soft link. So if you press one of those links, then the file will automatically open in MATLAB and run. So here you can see all the live script files. Okay, that's section 2.2. And if you scroll down a bit further, you'll see soft links for all of the virtual laboratories. There is an alternative. You can type help control 101. Now this is slightly different because what happens now is the help appears within the command window, not in a separate window. But once again, you'll see all of the soft links appear, but now in the command window. And again, press one of those soft links and the file will run. Now, you can, of course, run the files directly from the command window if you know the name. So just type the name in the command line and it will run again, assuming the toolbox has been installed. There's just a notice here that when you run <coughs> a live script, you'll see it opens the file, but it adds an ending to the file name. It basically adds my copy on the end and saves that to the current working directory. And the reason for this is so that you can now make edits to this file because obviously you can't edit the toolbox version because that will be um, secure. So in order to make edits, as you will want to in a live script file, it needs to be in a working directory that you own. So it basically copies the file to your current working directory and adds my copy on the end so you know it's yours, not the original one. So some remarks. Each virtual laboratory comes with a manual to explain the core engineering and mathematics behind the laboratory. Now for convenience, this manual is in the form of a live script and it will open automatically when you run the app. So here, if I run this app, here's tank level, then automatically what will happen is the manual will open. So you don't have to go and look for it separately, just run run the, uh, the virtual lab and the manual will open and it's there for you. Again, you'll see it's got this my copy in the end of the file name. Okay, so let's do some live demonstrations quickly just so you can see this all in action. So here's my MATLAB command window and you can see there's my apps button at the top. So if I press this right hand arrow, I can see all the apps down here. So for example, I could click on mixing tank and what you can't see is opened in a separate screen. So there it's open the mixing tank here and it's opened the live script manual here. So I can now just run them as I please. Okay, 
Alternatively, I can do what I said before. So I can do this doc command, doc control 101 toolbox. And there you see it's opened this new window. And I can scroll down and <clears throat> we'll do one of the virtual labs. So here, let's take this one, click this soft link. Um, and again, it's opened it in a different window. You can see the uh, manuals appeared and there's the virtual lab which has been opened automatically. Alternatively, I can do this help command, so help control 101, and there you can see, so let's try this, let's, let's try one of these, tank level and PI control, that would have been a better choice. So again, here we go, and there you can see is your tank level app and the help documentation there. So we've demonstrated how to run files in the Control 101 toolbox. The toolbox is being added to gradually, so you may wish to update the download periodically to access the most recent files and updates. And the following videos are going to look at some of the files in more detail to explain concisely the underlying engineering and context, and thus that will enable you to think about how they might be used to support the learning of modelling, dynamics and control.